All right, let's take a look at the proper way to burn an ISO file or an ISO file to a CDR or CDRW. First of all, let's take a look at the incorrect way, and I see this happen with a lot of individuals. Uh, first thing that they do is they insert their CD into the drive, and of course I'm using a Mac, uh, and so what will happen is after a second or two, Finder will pop up and say, you've inserted a blank CD. At this point, most people will say, OK. They click OK. Then they come over here and they double click on the drive. And they find their ISO file. They drag it over. They do that. And then they hit the burn. That is the incorrect method for transferring an ISO file to a CDR. What you need to know is this is an exact duplicate of a CD. And it's been compressed and put into a single file. What we need is some software or a way to decompress that so that all the files are placed on the CD in the proper position in order. So in order to do that, I'm going to go ahead and close this. I'm not going to burn it because, again, that would be incorrect. I need some software or a way to take that whole package for me and place it on the CD properly. Now, I like burn on the Mac, so uh, and that's a free download. You can find that online. Just simply do a search in Google for burn and OS X usually will bring that up for you. So I'm going to bring that up. So I pull up Quicksilver and I'm going to type B-U-R-N. You'll see that show up. I hit enter and burn will pop up. Now you could make the same mistake again by just dragging and dropping this over to the data selection area. We don't want to do that. What we would like to do is create a copy of this ISO file. So we're going to come over to copy. It says right here, hey, we need a disk image. So let's browse for that disk image. Wait for Finder to pop up. Now I have the ISO on my desktop and you can see it right there. I click OK, click open. Once we see that, it'll come up and show you that, hey, it's this. It's a DVD CD master. There's the size. Now, what's interesting about Burn, if you're not sure what's in within that ISO, you can hit the mount. It will actually mount that image. And now you're going to see all the things that are on that CD. And this is the way they should appear when they're on that CD, already decompressed and placed in the proper order. So at this point, it's simply a matter of hitting Burn. Once I hit Burn, it's going to say burn disk in the drive ready to burn. At this point, I can get out if I really don't want to do it or cancel. And actually, this is ejecting the CD, or I can cancel, or I can hit burn. Now, once I do that, you'll start to see the burning to drive status. And it will take quite some time. And we'll go ahead and let that go. But once we're done, we simply eject the CD, and we have an ISO image ready to be booted. And now I can finally get Ubuntu on that Windows machine and get Windows out of there. And uh, give us an operating system that looks a little more secure. So hope you enjoyed that quick how to burn an ISO image screencast.